Good morning, Solid Steppers. On my way to my Key Biscayne appointment, I want to talk about preparation and I want to talk about fear. Um, you know, a lot of people look at me and think I'm super confident. Yeah, that's what I portray. But at the end of the day, preparation is the key to life. Like this job, I was up to about 3 o'clock in the morning. The reason I was up at 3 o'clock because I was not only studying the schematics but I was going over in my mind every scenario that could go wrong. Why is that? Because number one, I'm a perfectionist. Number two, I'm dealing with electronics and an older uh, appliance that could have corrosion in other places. I'd rather be prepared than not prepared. So this morning I was at Home Depot. I got some additional anti-corrosion uh, cleaner dyslectic grease, contact cleaner, all that good stuff because I'm made of some additional brushes and things to clean those areas because I'm about those mating surfaces being on point so I don't have any problems. The other thing is, you know, we need to talk about how we go into these jobs, you know? How do we go into these jobs? Do we go into these jobs prepared? Like I have my iPad with me, my Surface. I'm making sure that my Bluetooth and everything is already activated, hotspot ready to go, because I don't want any issues. You know, I want to be able to go into the customer's home with a professional image. And even if I'm running into issues, I need to be able to play that shit off. And how I'm gonna play it off? I'm going to look the part. You know, one thing y'all got to understand, you know, people look at the clientele I deal with, but they have a certain expectation. And, you know, as long as you come in sincere and come in to solve the issue and come in prepared, they really don't care. They leave you alone let you do what you got to do. They give you space to, to work through the issues because, as I explained to this customer, there may be some additional things once I get this portion repair it simply because it's older but he's not interested in getting rid of it so it is what it is so at the end of the day when if you're going to come into appliance repair you decide how you want to come in the image you want to present and you make sure you invest in your education yourself to do that i study electronics heavily and uh, schematics and things like that because I need to be able to separate myself from my competitors because I need to be exposed at all times in situations that other people get frustrated in like uh, damaged wires or shorts things like that it's things people run away from uh, my con uh, my cons that are talking to sensors and things of that nature telling the appliance what to do this is the future and i am willing to invest in myself to do that it's not easy because you know i got sleepless nights i'm a home owner i need to get some rest but at the end of the day if i want to be the best there's a price you pay for that and you pay that price up front y'all because it's always gonna we always gonna make it look easy but it ain't you know there's plenty of people think they can get out here and do the hustle like me Y'all don't want to get y'all ass up and be at these 6 o'clock in the morning calls. But guess what? You see these people on these bikes on the road? There's a price they pay for that too. You know, they are investing in their bodies, their work ethic, you know, their workouts. You got, in order to enjoy the fruits of life, you got to pay a price at some point. So all you people trying to find the easy way and the free 99, y'all need to figure that out. Because this is not the time or the place for it. I'm here to win. I don't know about you. And I plan on winning every day in every way. One thing I like coming down to keep this game, though, is because I love this. It's just it's gorgeous out here, man. All day long between the water, the beaches. You know, and then every time I pass by Virginia Key, I think about the history. I'm not going to get into that right now, but... uh some of y'all people, y'all need to look up that Virginia Key history. It's got a very interesting history about who it used to belong to and who it belongs to now. But you know, that's American history. It's a process we go through. And, uh, and, and it makes us one of the best countries in the world. You know, where else can I go, be a homeowner, you know, 
and do what I, I'm, excuse me, be a homeowner, a business owner, and all they like, you know, and have freedoms. And it's really what I'm making. So, like I said, when you guys get ready to go get to a customer, you need to be prepared. You need to look professional. You need to have your tools. Like, before I get to this customer, I'm going to pull over. I'm going to put all the tools I need to the side, all the cleaners, everything in a bag. I'm going to go in with the additional um, cloths I need to clean up after myself and cleaners, all that stuff. Because I feel like presentation is always the key and how you show up at the job. Once I complete the job, while I'm working, I make sure I'm putting away my tools as I work so I look very clean, very professional. What you project is key because you're in a customer's home. And when you're in a customer's home, you want to make sure you're being respectful of everything, of all their appliances, of their, you know, we're usually working in a kitchen, which is where people eat, or we're working in a, um, laundry area where they clean so you want to make sure it looks better when you leave than when you came i mean it's those little things that matter and i'm saying this because you know i realize some people don't know it they don't realize they trifling you go into people's homes you're leaving grease marks you're leaving things on their appliances i'm not saying that you got to be the maid but what i'm saying is you, that is your signature how you get down how you work how you move is your signature and you got to be aware of that. That's the rule of the game, y'all. But I just wanted to give you guys some tidbits before I get to my first call this morning. I want to send a special shout out to Brandon at TMM for having shop talk and having uh, me, uh, allow me to call in and say a little something, something. Also, Mike Check, thank you for being on there sharing information. And the young man from uh, Up and Running, his YouTube channel. <laughs> He's a funny guy. Thank you. I really appreciate all three of these young men sharing what they know and letting everybody know that it doesn't matter what you look like, what you talk like, what you walk like. You can come out here and get it. I just want to say thank you, guys. And last but not least, I always want to sh shout out ABC and Mike Snead. I also want to shout out T. Finesse. He represented ABC so well yesterday. Thank you again, Solid Steppers, and I'll be talking to y'all later. Let me go get this channel.